You've got to take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome. Elon Musk unveils SpaceX's insane telescope. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, told scientists on Monday that he'd want to work with astronomers to look farther into space, perhaps even obtaining better images of exoplanets that might support life. Musk also attempts to reassure scientists that his Starlink satellites would not destroy the sky, as some have feared, and says he'd want to assist in the launch of additional observatories into space. So, for today's video, let's now dive into Elon Musk unveiled SpaceX's insane telescope. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. Formulating the Telescope the conference was part of a decadal survey in which NASA, other government organizations, and scientists attempt to establish research goals in astronomy and astrophysics. Musk was asked to speak about the potential for huge satellite constellations, such as Space XE Starlink, to cause interference. Visor sat satellites with a sunshade to prevent light reflections, according to the wealthy entrepreneur, may be a solution. The shine makes the satellites visible from Earth and it has hampered certain recent astronomical studies. The dimming devices should be included in the future Starlink satellites, according to Musk. We'll take further steps as needed, Musk told the scientists in the audience, adding that the repair is quite simple, and that, in hindsight, we'll feel a little silly. The satellites were initially seen by astronomers shortly after their maiden launch last year. Since then, the constellation has expanded to over 400 satellites, the FCC has given SpaceX permission to launch over 12,000 satellites, and the company has submitted papers to foreign authorities to build a 40,000-satellite megaconstellation. Musk stated on the call that he believes 20,000 to 30,000 satellites are the optimum number to cover the globe with low-latency broadband internet access. Musk also mentioned the possibility of cooperating on a planet imaging observatory in orbit in addition to his guarantees regarding the satellite's effect on astronomy. Such observatories would be considerably higher in orbit than Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit and would be immune to any mega-constellation disturbance. Musk wrapped up the conversation by returning to the subject, stating that he wants to have his next-generation Starship flying regularly in a few years. It enables the transportation of additional space telescopes to orbit at a fraction of the cost, he added. He quipped that he was driven by a desire to learn whether our world is, in fact, a computer simulation. Rocket Performance NASA's Launch Services Department released a graphic today, comparing the performance of different rockets, including SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. According to the calculations, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, a heavy lift derivative of the company's mainstay Falcon 9 rocket, can carry over 26,000 pounds all the way to Mars in an expendable form. However, if the construction of the Starship proceeds according to plan, that number may almost tenfold. Before the first Starship, much alone one that can transform into a huge telescope once in orbit, SpaceX still has a lot of work to do. In the following weeks, the first prototype may try to reach orbit for the first time, with a scheduled splashdown in the Pacific off the coast of Hawaii. But like its Falcon 9 predecessor, if established as a solid platform, Starship has the potential to push the boundaries of astronomy by carrying on Hubble's legacy in orbit. The announcement shows how Starship may be used for more than simply enabling SpaceX to construct a settlement on Mars by 2050. The Hubble telescope, which was launched in 1990, has an 8-foot diameter main mirror. This is coupled with a tiny secondary mirror that reflects the picture back toward the camera sensor via a hole in the main mirror. A mirror three times the size would be around 24 feet long. According to the European Space Agency, a larger mirror reflects more light, allowing it to catch fainter things from farther away. Consider the amazing images Hubble has gathered over the years, such as the Pillars of Creation photograph from 7,000 light years away in the Eagle Nebula. And think about what a camera that can look even further into the cosmos might produce. Hubble's successor. According to Musk, astronomer Saul Perlmutter of Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory originally proposed the concept of converting a Starship spaceship 
into a gigantic space telescope. The announcement comes after a software problem forced NASA's aging Hubble Space Telescope to put its scientific studies on hold last month. Scientists at NASA are scrambling to find a solution to get the telescope back on track. Musk previously expanded on his intentions for the Mars-bound rocket to serve as a dedicated deep space version that can be refueled in orbit, potentially allowing SpaceX to launch even larger cargo to distant locations, such as the Moon and Mars, in a tweet. SpaceX's Starship may transport the first humans to the Moon's surface since the Apollo missions clean up our planet's increasingly polluted orbit, and possibly assist in the establishment of a metropolis on Mars. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, now claims that it may be used to bring astronomical observations into the 21st century. Musk said in a tweet on Wednesday that the ship itself might serve as the structure for a new gigantic telescope, with 10 times the resolution of NASA's Hubble indicating that the billionaire still has huge plans for SpaceX's spaceship. Starship may launch observatories that are comparable in size to, or perhaps larger than, the James Webb Space Telescope. It has the potential to lead to greater scientific breakthroughs than ever before, allowing us to gaze into the universe. It's just one of the many ways that Starship exploration may help mankind better comprehend the cosmos. What does that say about Starship? Must describe how the Starship, codenamed BFR, will be employed to cover all missions previously completed by SpaceX's other rockets when he revealed it in September 2017. Falcon 9, for example, has already been used to carry goods to the International Space Station and will soon be used to transport people through the Crew Dragon. It also takes the place of the Falcon Heavy, which sent Musk's Red Roadster into orbit and is now the world's most powerful rocket. The Starship has a lot of potential, according to SpaceX with a configuration that can carry 1,000 people. It hopes to transport passengers point-to-point -point across the Earth in under an hour. It can transport 100 people to Mars and beyond with a completely reusable design and a fuel source that can operate off a planet's resources in a larger space configuration. SpaceX has also explored cargo options, with a telecommunications satellite anticipated to be launched on the first commercial flight in 2021. The Starship may also open up new options, such as capturing and repairing orbiting satellites. The super-heavy engine on the Starship can generate 60 million pounds of force, more than any previous rocket, opening up new possibilities for astronomers. So, how does Musk's stated telescope size stack up against the competition? It's three times the size of Hubble, yet it's not the world's biggest telescope. The Herschel Space Observatory, which operated from 2009 to 2013, featured a mirror of 11 feet and 5 inches in diameter. According to Musk's article, the Starship should be able to send this up just fine. The Ariane 5 rocket, which has a thrust of up to 2.4 million pounds at liftoff, was used to launch the telescope. It's also not as large as the James Webb Space Telescope, a NASA, ESA, and CSA project with a main mirror measuring 21 feet in diameter. After delays and billions spent over budget, it's scheduled to launch with an Ariane 5 rocket in 2021, and it's anticipated to complement Hubble's mission. What are your thoughts about SpaceX's gigantic telescope? Do you think this new initiative will help them get through their mission? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications of our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.